Hello and welcome back to Solomon Sea, Solomon Islands and the adjacent areas. Uh, we have just destroyed a very large uh, Japanese task force with a fleet carrier, a battleship, a heavy cruiser, uh, you name it, it had it almost. <laughs> So I'm very happy, even though it means that our task for Solomons needs to be uh, replenished and partially released. But we've got some uh, command points which I was furling away for a carrier, so we will use that to uh, replace uh, the battleship, uh, some of the light cruisers, uh, or maybe not the light cruisers because it probably won't have that much points. So the uh, uh, destroyer and uh, the battleship. So that's the plan, otherwise we will be patrolling more with our submarines, with the planes, replenishing, uh, slowly capturing the canal and building up a base, naval base here at Renal Island. Uh, so that's the plan, I'll uh, let the time run and I'll get back to you when I have something. And once again we are engaging some uh, lonely shipping of uh, North New Guinea coast, so let's go and do it. Here I come, there is no point in not attacking with everyone at the same time. We will give it a good whack and see how it goes. Uh, some of them are slightly higher than the others, so we'll see. I've, uh, Well, it wasn't overwhelming. We might have to do some strafing. Well, apparently it's quite a few bombs hit. Well, it might not have been spectacular, but it was effective. She's sinking. And RTB. They really won't let up, do they? We put some air cobras uh, here as cover. Let us find the ships first, though. Oh, well, this is slightly more spectacular than we've had before. Uh, She's probably doomed, but uh, let's see anyways what the other flight will do. It wasn't as good, but uh, very likely she is dead anyways. Well, we just had a spectacular magazine explosion, meaning She's dead. And she is sinking indeed. Let's leave. Another command point for voice. Okay, Task Force Solomons has encountered a whole bunch of aircraft and also some ships. Uh, the aircraft, the only ones that I'm worried about are these guys, what do they carry? And they carry torpedoes. Okay, uh, that means San Diego, you break off and speed this way. Uh, Nicholas and Co, you speed up. These guys form up and turn. We've got a Minikaze here and a modern destroyer. This will be coming into a lot of replay. Okay, we've downed all three planes. Wichita suffered a hit, um, unfortunately, which uh, flooded her. We might have to release her, but that's okay. Uh, Nicholas, our Fletcher class destroyer, is uh, hopefully going to kill this uh, 
plane. That's the reason why she is doing it alone. No? Okay. I would have thought. Yep, yeah, she's down. And again, Nicholas. Uh, one is down. And the second one is down as well. At least you guys seem to be that bent on t engaging us instead of running, which would be the smart thing. Uh, so let's sink them. Well, it looks like a salvo from a battleship has changed their minds. Um, honestly, they're quite far and way faster than me, so I'm going to retreat. Um, attack by that uh, aircraft of course is what annoys me, so that's the reason why I'm going to bombard a uh, base here at St. Isabel and also here at Chorkland Islands. I really, really am not happy with those planes uh, giving me grief. For a change, it's actually the Air Cobras which have encountered the um, Japanese task, the well, not task force, but a single merchant. Uh, what we are going to do is I'm going to strike it. Uh, I would like to know whether it's simulated that the Air Cobra has a 30 mil uh, cannon or whether it's just uh, a random thing that it has. The 30 mil cannon sort of do a short work of anything like this. Good. And we've lost one. This tends to be a <clears throat> dead sentence, so we'll wait and see. Okay, I'm going to give it another run, even if I risk losing in Air Cobra. Uh, of two planes, but fine, we got the command point out of that. Um, and that's uh, our patrolling plane, which is okay. I have taken over the canal, uh, and I was able to build a level one airbase there, uh, which has dauntlesses, and they have found a task force so we are going to use them. We are going to bomb with the Dauntlesses, this heavy cruiser here. And let's us go and do so. Uh, I'm really looking forward in seeing my Dauntlesses in action. Uh, chances are some of you guys will be shot down, but uh, that's the way of things. They need to pick up altitude first. Uh, they need, the TTE realism has changed the dive bombing, as in that they actually need to pick up some uh, uh, altitude first before running the bomb run, which is uh, how it should be. You should not be bombing from 3000 feet, that's where they need to release the bombs, no, that's where uh, we would start a bomb run from. So, let me just do that first. Okay, we are in 7000 feet. In fact, we probably should be even higher, but 7,000 feet will do. And let's us get ready for our bombing run. Uh, they have loaded uh, a 1,000 pound AP and uh, two hundred pound bombs, so we will see how many we will get. We will see. And we are starting to draw some AAA. And 
Now we can see that the cruiser is already maneuvering a bit. And dive! This air brakes are off. It's maneuvering. Oh, that was nasty. And bombs are away. And we've got at least one very nice hit. And unfortunately, uh, we lost a Dauntless. Oh well, happens. Was hit by uh, three bombs. Uh, Dud, one of being one of them. But I would say overall, okay, both all uh, another Dauntless has been lost. Unfortunately, but uh, decent damage to a cruiser for Dauntless is obviously much better to do it with more bombers, but uh, it is what it is. I am going to retreat here because I don't think this would do much more damage, so let's see. Moderate damage, minor flooding. Okay. RTB. And that's our first dive bombing uh, experience here. Obviously Task Force Solomons is uh, on course here to hopefully find this uh, task force. We were not able to find this task force uh, with the Takao in uh, with our surface uh, forces so that's exactly why S35 is positioned in the slot and uh, as you can see it's here and we are going to attack it uh, we are almost in attack position and our torpedoes are away and we are diving and trying to get out of here I will continue running at 6 knots until we hit uh, because that will give us the best chance of getting away uh, we are far enough uh, from the uh, destroyers not to be detected at the moment and I need to go silent as well, forgot about that. Uh, it, it is pretty annoying to be honest. I would really appreciate indicators. Are, do I have scope up? Am I running silent? A scope I can tell from external view. Uh, silent I can't. Yeah. Um, and it just doesn't make any sense for you to fire torpedoes and then not to go silent uh, when you were silent before. So it's uh, yeah, it's not something. Anyway, it is what it is. So I have to deal with it. Uh, the uh, submarines are so powerful here, anyways that it's uh, here are the torpedoes. Anyway, let's. Let's concentrate on the torpedoes. One, two, three, four. Excellent. And the big fire, she's going down, there is no question. She's already developed a massive list, as you can see. Doesn't look good for her. Well, uh, I, uh, for various reasons, I need to keep this episode uh, short. Um, so, this is the last engagement of the episode. Uh, hopefully you have liked it. If you did, uh, I'd like you to consider subscribing, liking and commenting, assuming you haven't done so already. Um, all of that helps the channel a lot, especially when you can see the sinking cruisers like this. I can promise you that if you subscribe you will see more sinking ships. <laughs> some of them mine. Um, I hope few, but some of them mine too. Anyways, um, thanks for watching and I will see you next time when hopefully we will see some more sinking ships. Japanese ones anyways.